Hello and welcome to my channel, Beardy Vlogger. My name is Mick and in today's video, uh, I'm recording in the beautiful River Valley area in Edmonton here. Maybe I'll show off some of the video at the end of the video. Today I wanna to talk to you guys about a mask that I purchased from T-Fury. So they advertise these as breathable face masks. Now these face masks go for $15 on their website. A cool thing that I like about T-Fury, if you've never heard of them, I'll have a link in the description below. Uh, they sell all, all sorts of masks and t-shirts with different um, characters from your favorite movies, TV shows, cartoons, things like that. Uh, I decided to go with the Toad from Mario. Uh, for those of you that know me well, know that whenever I play Mario Kart, I will only play if I'm allowed to play Toad. I will literally get up and walk away and act like a child if I'm not allowed to have Toad. So of course I had to go with the Toad mask. The thing that I don't like about this mask is it doesn't have the metal, um, whatever you want to call it, like reinforcement or whatever at the top so that you can wrap it around, so that you can wrap it around your nose. So because of that, as someone who wears glasses like myself, it actually does tend to fog up quite a bit. So when you're in a grocery store and you start fogging up, you can't see where you're going. That's not really fun. Something that I've been able to do to prevent that is when I put on the mask, I put kind of the glasses over top of it on the tip of my nose so that uh, I don't fog up. Just gonna show you guys quickly how I do that. And now I'm breathing and it's not fogging up. The only downside to that is, of course, you have to wear the glasses kind of low on your nose. So you kind of end up looking like a grandpa that's trying to read uh, like the ingredients with his bifocals. <laughs> so that's that's kind of a con, but I'm glad that there is kind of a way around it because I really do enjoy this mask. Another con is, of course, for bearded folk, uh, it is definitely a shorter mask. You are going to get that indent in your beard if you end up using the mask in the long term. Another positive thing about this mask is that it truly is a breathable mask. Like this is the first mask that I've tried that I really like because I feel like I can actually wear it for a longer period of time and I can breathe in it. I have another mask coming that's more for longer beards. I'm going to do a quick review on that for you guys but so far this is kind of the best mask that I've tried and if you're not bearded this is honestly uh, the perfect mask for you. And I just wanted to add this shirt is actually also from T Fury as well so for those of you that watch Rick and Morty. This is a Rick's Genius Pickles t-shirt. When I saw <laughs> when I saw it on their website, I just had to have it. I walk around with this shirt and get so many questions about, oh my god, where did you get this t-shirt? So I wanted to make sure that you guys see an example of the t-shirts that they have. This is a large. Uh, I, I wear a large and it's definitely a loose fitting large. So um, if you like tighter fitting and you're a large, you can probably get into medium. Just wanted to quickly show you guys the area that I'm filming in today. This is the River Valley in Edmonton and uh, here's the view coming up. So I decided that especially in the summer I'm going to try to uh, come to some nicer places, nicer areas in Edmonton. You can see our downtown there with the uh, not so skyscrapers. But this is our River Valley area. And then of course being right by the river valley you're gonna see some pretty big houses in this area then here's a couple monoliths that I <laughs> that i parked beside this is a great place to come to if you like dreaming uh, this is actually an older area of Edmonton, so a lot of the homes here were built in the 50s, but there's been recently a lot of teardown rebuilds, so I think out of the eight or so houses that I just showed to you, six of them were teardown rebuilds. Everybody wants to live in this area. I, I don't know if the camera did it justice, but uh, it is a great, beautiful spot. I knew about this spot because I used to come here on my lunch breaks just to read on the very bench that I was doing a couple of videos on today. Uh, tell me in the comments below, like what, what do you do? Where do you go when you want to dream about, you know, things that could be if you found a way to make more money than you currently do? You know, what, what is your dream? What does your dream home look like? I think 
I would love to live in this area for the view and uh, I like I like I like I like uh, I'm kind of weird I like extremes so ideally I would prefer to live in a massive house like the ones that I just showed or in like a tiny home and that's probably where I would be happiest but let me know in the comments below what you guys think of that again link in the description if you want to check out T Fury they have all sorts of different designs thanks for watching and we'll see you next time Uh, today I want to uh, 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 so you are gonna get that indent in your beard if you end up um, uh, uh, perfect